Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Piano Centre and this is my buyer's guide to the Yamaha CVP805 Clavinova Versatile Digital Piano. You can come and try the CVP805 along with other digital pianos in one of our showrooms. We have three stores, one is in Eastbourne on the south coast, the other one is in Rygate in Surrey and we also have one in Milton Keynes. Just give us a call first to make sure that the instrument you want to see is on display um, but you're very welcome to come along and experience the CVP805 for yourself. So the CVP series are aimed at musicians who want more than just piano. If you're just looking for good high quality piano sounds, then perhaps look at Yamaha's CLP range of digital pianos. But if you want more than that, you want a lot of extra sounds, um, more recording options, a more in-depth recording, um, and of course, rhythms and accompaniments to play along with, then the CVP series are definitely the instruments that you should be looking at. So at the beginning of this video, you'll have already heard me play a little piece on the piano. Um, that was actually using the beautiful sound of the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand Piano. And you'll also have noticed that halfway through that piece, I introduced the sound of a string orchestra as well. And I did that using the automatic accompaniment features that you'll find in the CVP-805. But what I wanna do now is just jump back to purely piano sound. And as well as the sound of the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand, the CVP-805 is equipped with the sound of the Bosendorfer piano as well. And the Bosendorfer is a slightly mellower piano sound and very, very nice for the romantic classical music. Um, so let's just take a listen to the sound of the Bosendorfer. So when choosing a digital piano, the sound is really only half of it because also it's very, very important to uh, ensure that you're very happy with the feel of the keyboard, or as we call it, the keyboard action of the piano that you're choosing. So the CVP-805 is fitted with Yamaha's Grand Touch uh, keyboard. It's got wooden white keys. It's got synthetic ebony and synthetic ivory for the keys, so your fingers don't slip when you're playing. Um, and I must say, it's a really nice piano um, keyboard to play, um, and certainly the way it connects with the piano sounds is, is very, very nice. So I was selecting the various piano sounds in the piano room mode. So there's a button here marked piano room and imagine a room full of some of the finest pianos in the world and that's what you'll find here. So using the touch screen here, you just tap the screen and you can select the different types of acoustic and electric piano on the screen there. Now you'll notice in the top right hand corner, there's a picture of a guitar and a drum. If you tap that, then it also introduces a band onto the screen as well. So what I'm gonna do here, just to demonstrate how easy it is to use the automatic accompaniment features of the uh, CVP-805, I'm just gonna play a few chords, just four or five chords, um, just with a piano sound on its own. Then I'm gonna start the band up and I'm gonna play the same chords and just listen to how the band follows what I'm playing, but also leaves me free to kind of improvise as well. So just take a listen to this.
So that was just one particular example of an accompaniment style that was called funky shuffle um, let's just choose something completely different maybe let's choose uh, one of the the swing jazz styles um, and when i start this playing just just listen to the quality of the drum sounds um, so as well as having really good uh, piano sounds the cvp 5 has great drums and also auto accompaniments which we're going to go into a little bit greater depth later on in this video um, but let's just have a listen to uh, the swing rhythm So when you're in the piano room mode, you're, you've got access to very basic accompaniments and lots and lots of great piano sounds. If you want to go a little bit deeper into exploring more sounds and perhaps more advanced accompaniments, then you just need to go into the standard mode. So if you just press home, then you're into a fairly familiar user interface for people who've used the Yamaha CVP range before some of the older models. Um, but uh, in here you have a greater choice of sounds and lots more control over more accompaniment styles as well. So before I show you some of the other rhythms and accompaniments and things, what I'd like to do is just show you the quality of some of the sounds. Now, if you're in the market for uh, this type of piano, so something that's got more than just piano sounds, the chances are you might want to do a little bit of composition or perhaps you're um, just playing some of your favorite tunes but want to use other instrument sounds. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna play through a, a whole range of different sounds. I'm gonna start off though with the orchestral sounds. So we have things like solo violin, solo cello, um, you've got some brass sounds, but there are also um, nice ensemble sounds, so nice, very warm string orchestras, and also some other sounds which respond, you'll see in a minute, does, uh, the harder I press the keys, it actually introduces extra percussion and things. So ju let's just first of all start off by having a listen to the orchestral voices.
So that last example I used, it was a sound called Orchestra Tutti, and you'll have noticed that in the left hand here, let's just turn the volume up a little bit, and I have a timpani there, but the harder I press, it brings the cymbal in as well. And up here, I have a really nice rich, it's uh, strings and brass mixed together. So without using any automatic backings or accompaniments or anything, you can see that you've got some really great sounds available to you from, from the instrument, from the front panel here. It's very, very easy to get to the sounds, although there are well over a thousand voices. I'd need to check the specification charts, give you the exact number, but there are an awful lot of voices in this, but they're very easy to get to because they're all categorized. So you can just press, for instance, the guitar button, and then it gets, shows me on screen all the classical guitars, the steel guitars, and they're all grouped. So if you say you want um, an electric guitar, you can just tap the electric guitar button, and then it shows you all the electric guitar sounds on the screen and there are various pages of them you can step through. You can also highlight uh, some of your favorite sounds with an asterisk and then it puts them all into the favorites button which is on the far right of the keyboard here and that enables you to get to the sounds that you uh, like and the ones you use the most often very very quickly just hit the favorites button and the ones you want come up on the screen there. So let's just uh, carry on listening to a few more of the voices because these really are excellent. So I'm just going to play you here um, two or three of the uh, guitar sounds. If you're going to be using the CVP-805 for songwriting um, or recording your own music, then there is a 16-track recorder built into it. So that means that you can layer up to 16 different tracks of sound together. So you could perhaps start off with a drum beat, add a bass line to it, add some piano to it, add some strings. And all in all, you build up this nice big orchestration, which you can then save into the internal memory of the piano, or you could save it onto a USB stick just by plugging it into the end there. And the great thing is you can export your compositions as an audio file, so it's a WAV audio file, which means that it's then compatible with most audio players on the market, or you can email it to people or upload it to the internet, whatever you want to do. Um, but the CVP is really great if you're looking for something for songwriting. So uh, if that's the kind of use you want, then of course you want some good drum sounds and some good bass sounds as well. So you can uh, record your own drum beats into the uh, CVP-805 and your own bass lines as well. So just have a listen to some of the drum sounds and the bass sounds that I've selected here. Dun 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 dun. 
So now we're gonna take a listen to what the CVP805 really excels at, which are the automatic accompaniments and sort of following uh, what you're playing and giving you some backing tracks. So in this example, I'm gonna start off with, this is a, a song that was made popular by Celine Dion 20 odd years ago, it might have been more now. Um, but I just start off with a nice piano sound and I have um, mixed together with the piano sound um, a choir voice as well. So it's possible with the CVP805 to layer two voices on top of each other. So on every key, you actually have the sound of two sounds layered on top of each other. So in this example, I'm gonna play the piano with some choir mixed in, and then I'm gonna bring in the accompaniment. You'll see me come over to this section here. This is where you um, control your accompaniments, start the rhythm playing, and then carry on playing the same thing, but with the accompaniment. And just hear how professional the result is. I mean, the Yamaha have been at the top of their game with um, automatic accompaniments for many, many years now. Um, and to be honest with you, there's never been a digital piano at this price point that has some of the sound quality and, and the, the quality of the backing tracks that, that CVP805 does. So anyway, enjoy this little piece of music. It's a nice ballad, but in particular, listen to the piano sound mixed with the choir, because it's a lovely, lovely sound. So as I said, over here is where you control your accompaniments. So this button on the far left here, that switches the accompaniment on and off. And then you have three introductions. So you can have just a basic counting or uh, intros two and three tend to be a little bit longer and more musical. Um, and then you have four variations on every rhythm. So what I'm going to do is give you an example here is, uh, this is one of the soul rhythms. Again, I'm going to start off playing the piano and actually this time it's layered with a synth brass sound. Um, then I'm going to press intro and you'll hear it plays an introduction um, and you can still play over the top of the introduction as well whilst it's playing and then you're into your variations um, of your backings. So the idea with the four variations is that you can use um, perhaps a different variation for verse one or verse two or chorus or the bridge of the song. Um, and it's, it means that whilst you're playing, you can be controlling the accompaniment and you'll notice that as you go through the four different variations, they get progressively uh, busier. So get more instruments playing, perhaps some brass sections come in, that kind of thing. But what I'm also doing is I'm changing the sound whilst I'm playing. So in this example that you're gonna hear now, as I've said, I'm gonna be using the piano, I'm gonna use the introduction, I'm gonna show you the variations on this particular soul rhythm, but at the same time, I'm using these buttons here. Now this is called registration memory. And what registration memory does is it remembers um, all your settings. So what I've done is I've put four different sounds in here already preset for me to be able to play this piece of music to you. And you'll see me whilst I'm playing just changing voice. It's very quick because they're so close to, to your hands, it's very easy to change sounds midway through a piece. So you'll see on this, I'm using all the variations, changing sound quite regularly. And then at the very end, I hit the, oops, I hit the ending button and it plays a little ending or an outro for me, which again, I play some brass over the top. So this is kind of using the accompaniments in all their glory, if you like, but it really does uh, produce some incredible results. So have a listen to this.
So the CVP805 really does sound like you've got a full backing band behind you. Now perhaps you don't want something that's quite as, as crazy and fully blown as that, that particular uh, style that I showed you there. So let's just break it back down again. I'm gonna play a nice little Latin style now. This is the bossa nova rhythm. And again, to start off with some basic piano and then bring in the accompaniment. You can see how, how musical it is. So um, this is a nice piece of music called Masquerade. So I've already shown you the uh, really great orchestral sounds that are available to you in the CVP-805, but these really come alive when they're used in the automatic accompaniments. So I'm gonna introduce you to a new feature now, which I haven't mentioned that, and that's these four buttons on the right-hand side here, and they're called one-touch settings. Now, because we've got many hundreds and hundreds of, of different sounds available to us, sometimes it could be overwhelming. And if you want to be able to access some really great sounds very quickly, um, use the one touch settings because basically what happens is you choose um, an accompaniment style. So I'm gonna do that now if I go into um, the movie and show category and I choose um, movie soundtrack, um, that's, the accompaniment style I've chosen. It's now gonna pre-program these four buttons with four combinations of sound that work really well with the movie soundtrack. If I was to choose a different rhythm, say I choose a samba for instance, then it will fill these four buttons with four sounds which are applicable to the samba. Um, so whatever rhythm or accompaniment style you choose, the one touch settings preload themselves with four different sounds that work really well with that particular style of music. Now, what I've also done is I've turned on the one touch setting link button, which is on the end here, it's called OTS link. And as I change the variations in the accompaniment style, it also changes my one touch settings as well. So I don't even have to take my hands off the keyboard to be able to change the different sounds. So finally, I just want to draw your attention to a few other features that the CVP-805 offers. First of all, you'll notice that behind the screen here, there are lots of lights. Um, and what this is for is that it has some songs built into it that you can play along with and you can follow the lights. And it'll even wait for you to play the right note before it moves on. So it has some tuition features built into it as well. You can download more songs from uh, Yamaha's website, which is called yamahamusicsoft.com. You'll find a link to that in the description below this movie as well. Um, also, the CVP-805 enables you to download more 
um, accompaniment styles uh, from that same website as well. So you're not just limited to the, I think four or 500 styles that are built into this. Um, you can download more from Yamaha's website as well. So it's yamahamusicsoft.com. So take a look at that because if you're looking for a particular um, accompaniment style or a particular song to play along with, chances are you'll find it on there because there are thousands and thousands of titles on there. So the CVP-805 is available in two different colors. I'm sitting here with, this is uh, called the black walnut finish. So it's a satin black finish. It's the cheaper of the two options actually. Um, but it's nice because you can see the, the wood grain through the, through the finish of the wood here. Um, but also there is the beautiful polished ebony finish, which is that high gloss uh, piano black. Um, color um, that's also available. It's a, it's a few hundred pounds extra, but it really does look stunning. So the CVP805 also has a microphone input as well, so you can sing along with um, the songs that that you can download from the internet. Uh, there, it will display the lyrics on the on the screen as well. So um, you can plug a mic in. It gives you a bit of echo and reverb and a few EQ effects for your voice to make it sound uh, professional. Um, and it can also give you an automatic harmony as well. So when you're singing, it can sound like there are three or four people also giving you backing vocals as well. So um, you plug a microphone in underneath here. Also, whilst I'm talking about the connections, um, there are two headphone sockets so two people can practice piano at the same time without disturbing other people in the household. And you have um, audio outputs as well, which you can take into external amplification or perhaps another recording device if you want to. So the final feature I just wanted to show you um, is actually to do with the pedals because of course, just like a grand piano, the CVP805 is equipped with three piano pedals. So just like a, a normal acoustic instrument, they operate in exactly the same way. So the, the pedal on the right side gives you sustain so the notes hang on. The pedal on the left is a soft pedal and it just it just takes the edge off the sound. In a, an acoustic piano, it moves the hammers slightly closer to the strings, which means that you can get less uh, velocity behind the, the strike, so slightly uh, less volume. And then the middle pedal, uh, this is the sostenuto pedal. And what this does is if I play a chord here, then I press the pedal, it hangs on to those notes but no other notes sustain apart from the ones I've already pressed. So there are some quite advanced pieces of music that need a sostenuto pedal. However, on the CVP-805, these three pedals are actually assignable to different functions and very useful functions. So for instance, you could assign one of the pedals to start and stop the rhythm with your foot rather than having to press uh, the button with your fingers. Um, but also some of the sounds are, all, are set up to automatically make use of the pedals um, in different ways without you needing to change any of the settings. So I'm gonna give you an example of that. I'm gonna choose um, a Hammond organ sound here. This is called the Jazz Rotary. Now, when I, uh, if, if you just listen to the sound as it, as it sounds normally, it's this sound. If I press what would normally be the soft pedal, so that's the pedal on the left. Ready, listen to this. It speeds up the Leslie simulator. Press it again. So that's uh, giving you the sound of the fast and slow rotating speaker you used to get with the old Hammond organs. So another example of this is with the flamenco guitar sound. When I press the middle pedal, ole. you get the ole sound. And then if I choose a different guitar sound, for instance, this is one of the rock guitar sounds. I press the middle pedal now, and you get that kind of dive bomb effect of, the, of someone running their fingers down the fretboard of a guitar when it's plugged into an amplifier with lots of distortion on it. So. And a really good use of this is actually in the saxophone sound. When you press the middle pedal, just see if you can hear it. I'll turn the volume up so you can really hear it. You get a sound of a breath. So it's like someone's breathing in before they, 
they play the sax. So. <laughs> So experiment with some of the voices. Um, if they say super articulation, that's S art um, in the name of the, of the voice on the screen, then it's telling you that the pedals might do something or it might respond to how you're playing. You may have noticed, if I go back to one of the guitar sounds, depending on how I play, it can bring in different sounds. Like it brings in the sound of someone moving their fingers along the fretboard or... Sometimes it puts a little bend in the notes, that kind of thing. It's reading what you're doing on the keys and it, it's responding in a way that the real instrument would. So that brings me to the end of my Yamaha CVP-805 demonstration. I've tried to cram in as much as I can without making the video too long, but also by giving you lots and lots of opportunity to hear the instrument as well and just see how great it really sounds. The CVP series are a real pleasure to play because um, it's nice that you've got some of the very best piano sounds in the world in it, but also you've got really great uh, sounds and rhythms and accompaniments to back you up as well. So it is like you're playing with other musicians. So please do come along to one of our stores to try out the CVP series. Um, give us a call first to make sure they're available in the store of your choice. Um, but it's well worth um, coming along and having a play. And we do take part exchange as well. So if you have another piano that you'd like to part exchange for a Yamaha CVP805 or its bigger brother, the CVP809, then please do get in touch with us and we can uh, offer a trade-in uh, price for you so you could have one of these in your home a bit quicker than perhaps you thought. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions about digital pianos, please get in touch with us. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next piano demonstration movie.